Bill Gowdy. And Lucy Lou. <laughs> Check it in. Oh, man. It's only 30 degrees outside to Fahrenheit. 30 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's uh, 72 in here. Nice and toasty. Winter is upon us. And it sure is. I'll tell you what, I'm hungry. Mmm. <laughs> uh, you're a sweetheart. Yes, you are. Mm, she's a cuddle bug. A snuggler. She likes to snuggle. She's a camera hog, too. Oh, man. I've uh, worked on my breakfast 88 and I perfected it or kicked it up a notch and I'm gonna call it breakfast 89 only because it's changed a lot since the original recipe but it's good stuff it really is it's one of my favorites tell you what I can't eat the whole thing I've tried oh man oh I'm miserable but I'm going to try to eat the whole thing, but I'm going to make it just because it's so good. Come along. Mm, join me. Uh, join us. Thanks, Booger. Man, those are coming in nice and handy on these cold <laughs> days, that's for sure. I'll tell you what, it's, uh, look. Can you see that? 61 degrees down here, and it's even colder down on the floor. Up here, just at the size of the TV, it is uh, 71 degrees. Quite a difference. 30 degrees outside but just you can just tell that bunk is nice and toasty yeah it sure is but down here uh yeah without uh slippers on without pea shoes it gets uh a little bit cold all right well i'm gonna make me some of my regular tea i use uh iced tea this is just black tea I use, so I'm almost out of it, apple cider vinegar, lemon, the juice of uh, lemon. My uh, Wayne Jewel sent me that Batman glass with uh, some ice cubes in it. Oh, yeah. Let's make this up, shall we? So I use about three capfuls of apple cider vinegar with the mother. This is uh, organic. Iced tea. And lemon. The way I like to start my day. That is so good. Here's what you're going to need. Two soft shell tortillas, some garlic, 
some pepper, some mushroom, onion, four eggs, cream cheese, uh, assortment of cheese. I like to use pepper jack, Italian. I got some uh, block cheese back here. Some uh, farm lamb pork sausage. Today, I'm gonna try something different. I normally use uh, salsa, and I have salsa. But uh, I'll tell you what, I'm thinking these sun-dried tomatoes are gonna do the trick. We'll just have to see. That's our sausage. Pretty much done, not quite the way I like to have it. So that's all right because I'm gonna add the green pepper, onion, mushroom, garlic, and red pepper right in there with that. We'll let those peppers soften up a little bit. While that's over here simmering, <laughs> or softening up a little bit, I'm going to show you a little trick with these eggs. We're going to separate these egg whites out. Yeah, it took me a little bit to figure this out, but I'll tell you what. It's a secret. Do you think I could find my little bowl? <laughs> it must be over in the fish cleaning station. So I'm just going to use the next size bowl I have, which is a little bit big, but who cares? Rather big than not big enough. So you separate out these egg yolks. You just get the egg whites. Here we go. We got the egg whites in here. We got the egg yolks in here. Whip up those egg whites and whip them good. <laughs> Get them frothy. I like to add a little black pepper to this right here. I got some uh, coarse ground black pepper. I'll probably a tablespoon, I don't know more. To your taste, do it to your taste. that good and frothy like that. You see that? Yeah, the egg yolk's back in. Look at the goodness. <laughs> That's a secret. These peppers, the onions have so softened up nicely. Everything looking good. That's over just a low heat. I want you to look at this pan. It is just the right size for the tortillas. It's just, just, they just fit in here.
you see how that just comes up the side a little bit can you see that the, uh, just just enough this much cream cheese I don't know about a half inch and you just you get it in blobs I like to put it in blobs this is my secret You just spread it randomly you could spread it on thin too I've done that but I tell you what I like I like the blobs I like to run into the blobs you'll see and pour this right in on top Now you take your whipped up eggs and you pour it right over the top of that. I like to put the cream cheese on the other half, on the top half, just blobs anywhere, randomly. Now before I put that other half on, I like to top it with a little cheese in here. Place that on the top and put a little more cheese on top of that. Put it in the oven. Three fifty degrees for about twenty minutes. Depends on your oven. Fifteen to twenty minutes. Preheat your oven to 350. Set your timer for, I'm going to do it for 20 minutes.
it's always good to let this sit just a little bit, cool down just a little bit after the, I don't know, five or ten minutes, let it rest. Then I cut around the edges because the egg sometimes will stick to the side of the pan. Let's make it complete. I got a little Texas Pete Mexican style. Yeah, it's good stuff. I can get it at the local IV nowadays. It's even better. I think Kurt Danielson sent me this though. <laughs> can never get too much. Let's dig into that, shall we? Thank you, Crawdaddy. Crawdaddy Forge. Mark, he built, he built that knife for me. It's not pretty nice very sharp can you see I don't know if you can see that but there's chunks of the cream cheese in there and how all that egg fluffed up it's like an omelet inside of uh, two tortilla shells mm. <laughs> oh. mm. that is so good and hitting that hitting that cream cheese just makes it that much richer mm. I'm gonna try it with a try a bite of this with the dried tomato in it just because I <laughs> I like that dried tomato I'm, I'm anxious to see how this is gonna be that's a big bite but it's got a, it's got a little bit of everything sausage Pepper, egg, uh, cream cheese, regular cheese. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I want to look at the, how this works out. There's the layering of it garlic egg you see how that egg fluffs up it's by by separating those egg whites and fluffing that up it makes that so much thicker it, it it's like a frittata or a, a an omelet inside of two tortillas and i happen to use the low carb tortillas but you could use any kind of flour tortilla that you want mm. I don't know if you can see the the thickness of that. Is it has kind of a uh, you know it tastes like an omelet, but it has a like maybe a little bit of pizza, like a breakfast pizza. I don't know. But when you hit those those uh, pockets of cream cheese, oh, it is so good. The original recipe called for fresh tomato slices, sliced right up on top there. And I use cherry tomatoes, I use sliced tomatoes, I use salsa. I I've, now <laughs> it's you know it's not tomato season right now, and uh, I tried these dried tomatoes, and I have had these on other recipes, and they are so good. I would highly recommend that try the dried tomatoes but salsa works good hey you don't have to put anything on there if you don't want to you could top it 
you know, with uh, mushrooms. I got mushrooms inside, but you could put mushrooms on the top of that. Uh, it really is good. Uh, <laughs> I guess I can't tell you that enough. I think it's going to get up to, I think they said 47 today. It's uh, 37 right now. 73 in here. But it's windy. Well, I guess it's only four mile an hour wind, but it's gusting. And, uh, I, you know, I was kind of waiting for it to warm up a little bit. I got a ton of work to do. You, I don't know. I got leaves out there. <laughs> I got trees down. We had so much wind come through here. Mmm. That is so good. Always something to do around here, that's for sure. Bill Gowdy out for now. Oh, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Bill Gowdy and Lucy Lou out. Let's see if it's Lucy Lou approved. It's Lucy Lou approved to me. <laughs> Good stuff.